smileys and wine enthusiasts. Welcome if this is your first time here and welcome back if you're aging like a fine wine. I thought I'd jump on the camera real quick. I received another package. Actually, I received a couple of packages, but um, I remembered to not open this one so that I could share it with you all. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So as you know, I um, this the end of this last year, I started selling wines with Scout and Cellar, which this business, I so far, I'm having a blast. The wines are clean, crafted wines, which means that there's no added sugars, no pesticides, no chemicals, just clean, the way nature intended. And so, <clears throat> I received another shipment and I thought that I would share this with you and I'm really excited now if you know me and you've been following me you know that I love red wines cabs Zinfandels those are my go-to dry reds that are fruit forward and not heavy on the oak and I haven't really found white wines that um, I'm just in love with until one, I tried the uh, Scout and Cellars Bookbinders Apprentice, which had notes of uh, apple, um, I think peach, and you could serve it with soft cheeses and spinach. That was one of my last videos. But also a few years back, I had found a white wine that I love, Dr. Lucen's Riesling, and I paired it with a clam chowder, and it was delicious. And if I want a Riesling, I usually go to Dr. Lucid. Well, Scout and Cellar has Riesling, and so I thought I'd try it. This is called Catin Sauvage. It's French, uh, from the Alsace region of France. So I thought that I would try that. Let me show it to you. It comes with a card that always tells you what the Scout and Cellar wines are and then on the back there's a satisfaction guarantee if you do not enjoy your wines you can also always contact the company and they will give you another either a credit or you can pick a wine yourself and they will send it to you so I thought that that was great because you're not going to get that anywhere else if you go to the grocery store get a bottle of wine you don't like it you just don't like it and that's the end of that. Okay, next. Oh, so I love this series, Middle Jane. So far I've tried the uh, Middle Jane Cab, was it? <sighs> Delicious. But this one here is the Zinfandel. I love Zinfandels. And so I thought I'd try it. No, actually I tried the middle Jane Zinfandel. This one was very good. It was fruit forward, had notes of blackberry and um, black currant. So that was very delicious. I'm thinking of the Gallivant Zinfandel. Um, I have not tried that one, but the middle Jane I have tried and I fell in love with. And then uh, my friend enjoys Sauvignon Blancs, and so I saw this Tango Tango that I'm going to share with her and see if she likes. And Sauvignon Blancs, they're light bodied, uh, very crisp, light and refreshing. They usually have notes of lemon. Uh, I believe this Catin Sauvage also has lemon notes in it. Um, usually, Rieslings, or at least the Dr. Lucen ones that I've tried, they are um, semi-sweet. So I'm very interested in seeing how this is. I know when I had it cold, it was dry, but when I let it get room temperature, there was a hint of sweetness. So I only got to try a little bit, so I'm, I'm looking forward to pouring me a glass and actually 
taking in the notes and seeing what I think about it and what would pair well with it. When looking at the website, I don't think it mentioned pairing it with a chowder or seafood. So we'll see how that goes. And um, I'm very um, much interested in trying this again. Like I said, these two wines, when I first had them, I only had a little bit. So I'm looking forward to actually sitting down and getting these notes and pairing them. And the very first Zinfandel that I fell in love with was Seven Deadly Zins. Um, I remember the time, I remember the place, I remember the date, that's how much I love that wine. And I actually had the server um, steam off the bottle label and I put it in my wine journal. So that's how much I love Seven Deadly Zins. So we'll see how this stacks up to it. But anyways, that's it for today's unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to check out my blog, www.smilingdanny.com. Follow me on Instagram at, at smileydannygirl. And if you are interested in any of these wines, either to purchase or to just see the notes that they have, uh, go to www.scottandseller.com slash smilingdanny. All the links will be below in the description box. In the cards, I will put the link to the bookbinder tasting. Um, and then on my blog this month, I'm sure that I will post the tasting notes to each of these wines. So be looking forward to a blog post coming up soon. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Cheers.